what we try to hone in on is our kind of our theme is preserving the past and embracing the future and that's what agriculture in itself is uh, takes a lot of that into account with how we how we grow as an industry how we um, how we preserve things but also how we look forward and and progress into new technologies and all of those things Tennessee is an extremely stout agricultural state when you look at the percentage of the total revenue that is produced by agriculture in this state. But one of the reasons that it is so so powerful is the amount of diversity that uh, we've got. If my customer is having problems marketing beef because of some perception issues at, at the market and of the safety and quality of beef, that ultimately comes back to my bottom line. We grow and have the ability to grow an enormous amount of food in this country. That's not true for many other countries all over the world. So we need strong trade agreements to be able to uh, have a competitive market with, with our products, to have a place to go with our products. I mean, obviously, we want to provide all that we can domestically, but we, we produce more. And, and can produce more so we want to be able to help those other countries out and to give strong markets back to the farmer that grows them. From a beef producer uh, standpoint I think getting uh, the export market open back to China which is a prime market I think has really really been beneficial to the outlook and the overall morale of the beef industry to know that there's some, there's some more promise there uh, to get get that back up and going you know ultimately it all comes down to profit margin and we're sitting here in 2018 and, and we are looking over um, our inputs that we're going to spend for this upcoming year yet I'm looking at selling the price of my corn at the same price the exact same price that I sold that bushel of corn in 1976 two years before I was even born. Farm profitability is a huge issue and continues to be. I mean, it always has been and it always probably will continue to be a question mark, but how do we overcome that um, is it, it, big.